You guys have another guy that just just standing out, standing out, may go in the top of the draft boards there. Uh, I I got I uh, I got one that needs. I mean that we haven't mentioned that I thought was a no brainer, which would Orlando Brown, Zeus mm-hmm. tackle, unanimous yep. All American. Uh, he's going in the first round, dog. Um, left tackle. Left tackle. He he's he's a, and, and he's developed so quickly. You know, like we talk about four years, but this was a kid who is a a, a, a middling recruit, three stars. Uh, had an offer from Tennessee. They pulled it late, really late. His coach pulled the kind of work that we would hope that every coach pulls for his high school kids. Found Oklahoma, sent him film. Bob Stoops was like, all right, cool. I'll take a look at him. Liked the film enough to show it to Beaton Bow. Beaton Bow said his feet were trash. But if you want him and you like him, I'll work with him. He's got, you know, size. I mean, I think at the time he was pushing four bills. And they got him, you know, on a high-protein diet. He listened. He learned the offense. And he became one of the, one of the captains, you know, with, with work ethic. And I don't know. And I, the way that Beatonbo put it was, there's no kid that I've ever coached that had to work more for it. From a, from a I, he just didn't have the talent standpoint, right? And that tells me everything I would want to know if I'm drafting a kid. Because, as you said, playing football in the National Football League is hard. And studying is a big part of it. And this kid has shown he'll study and practice enough not only to, to meet the expectations that you have for him, but to exceed them and become a unanimous All-American. You know, he's going to go in the first round. He, he, just, he just is. So he, he's tops, tops all the way. So mm-hmm. with that being said, uh, so, so he worked on his foot, footwork. Uh, so he got quick hips, footwork, long extension, can extend. Uh, and can get out on his block. So, uh, so you're saying that he got all those traits, right? So who is? I have to say this. I know you guys probably don't like this, but who is his comparables? Who who is compared to? Uh, give me. Uh, I, I would uh, Michael Orr if Michael Orr committed a personal foul at least twice a game. <laughs> <laughs> so he do have a mean streak, right? Uh, you, you, you know, like uh, there's a play. Man, I and I made a video about this. Matter of fact, if you if you hit up my Patreon and you support our Patreon, it's there. Uh, but there's this great counterplay during the Rose Bowl that I diagram, just to show how Lincoln Riley's counterplay is a little bit different than most you'll see. And the way that Orlando Brown comes from the left side of that line to clear that hole is just gorgeous. I mean, to see him get up, get out, and get after it. You know, uh, have his hands out in front of him. I never see his face mask uh, being used as a blocking tool. You know, I, I always see him get those feet back quick. I've never seen him get beat off a snap. You know, even when I swear to God the defensive end had that snap count, he was still long enough to get a shove out and give Baker enough time to do something with the football. Um, so, that, I mean, if he was angry and he had Michael Orr's hand, Michael or him. Uh, my, my guy Vach Lombardi said Greg Robinson is what he reminds him of. He's that big. He's that big. Well, how big? Uh, how big is he? How big is uh he's, Brown? He's six foot eight. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. Now you're talking my language. You talk some more. How what's his size? What's his yeah. weight? Yeah, he's uh he's six foot eight, three thirty, three forty. Oh he's my about, god. Uh, do you remember Phil Lodeholt? Yep, that was what I was gonna say. Yeah, he's Phil Lodeholt with more discipline. Six foot eight, more, gonna anchor this the left side of your field. My God, better hand. You know, six foot eight, three, uh, three forty five. Sounds right. Cause yeah, yeah. You know, doesn't move like it. Doesn't does, doesn't move like it. You know, he moves like a guard. But I mean, just if you want to talk intangibles, I mean, excuse me, intangible, measurables. That's your dude. I mean, that's that's the only guy on the roster that everybody in the NFL would look at, just with they numbers on a sheet and go. Yeah, we'll draft him. Mm. You know, six foot eight though. Like, uh, and that was the other thing. When people talk about Baker Mayfield being short, he threw over Orlando Brown. <laughs> no doubt, I he need. He threw to... over Orlando Brown. Oh wow, and six foot eight. Yeah, shoot, that side of the field. So who, who's playing beside him? Who's the guard beside him? Then what's his name? Uh, who was? It's not Alex Dalton. It's ben Powers. No. Yeah, it was Powers. It was Ben Powers. Because uh, on the other side of him, there was Eric Wren was the center. At right tackle was Bobby Evans. 
Um, uh, Drew Samia. Drew Samia was on the yep. right side. So the left side was Ben Powers. Uh, and what is Powers? Powers is like, I want to say like 6'3". Have y'all kept your same offensive line coach since, uh, I guess, Lane yeah. Johnson was there? Uh, no. Different different offensive line no. coach, right? Yes, but, but you can see the difference. Um, because I think Orlando is the first kid that Beatonbow coached for four years 